Jazz here, your blind occupational therapist. Today I'm going to show you how conventional strategies like tactual markings and organizational techniques can combine with way around so that you can have a fully accessible food pantry. Let's get started. If you cannot see to read food labels or identify containers, you actually have a lot of options for making your pantry accessible. The techniques I'm gonna show you today are gonna to take your current organizational system to a whole new level. For those of you who can see, check out the difference between this before shot and after shot to see what a difference these strategies can make. Here are some of the tools I'm gonna to use today. First, an assortment of tactual markers like rubber bands, pipe cleaners, and bump dots. Then uh, boxes and baskets and bins. Um, I have some amazing erasable food labels and chalkboard labels. And lastly, but not least, all of these wonderful way tags from magnets and stickers to clips and oval hole buttons. If your food pantry is a hot mess, I suggest emptying it out, cleaning it really well before you reorganize. This will give you a chance to sanitize the space, get rid of old food and old debris laying around. Now let's start at the beginning. The best way to tackle this overwhelming project is to work from general to specific. One, categorize yourselves into sections. So generally, you know where to start looking when you're going to find something in your food pantry. You can even label or tag your shelves with way tags. If they're wooden, use a way tag sticker. Or if they're dust free, like I've got, you can use the oval hole buttons with a, um, with a pipe cleaner. Just to give you an example of how to categorize, I'm going to show you my pantry and my pantry is in the corner, so it's L-shaped. So I'm just going to focus on the, uh, the food items. So on my second shelf down to the left, I've got cookies and, and nuts and it moves on into the baking items I need and then off to the right, it goes into soups. Underneath, in the next shelf down, on the left, I've got all my breakfast items, which moves into breads, which are in the corner, which moves on to pastas and rices, and then sauces and things I need uh, for cooking, like vinegar and oil and condiments and such. Then on my last shelf down, I've got snacks on the left-hand side, and on the right, I've got small appliances. So you do what works best for you in your pantry, because they're all differently. This is just to get your creative juices flowing. Two, use boxes, baskets, and bins to organize your stuff and keep things that are similar together. Now, you are gonna wanna label them with, of course, your way tags on the bins, but you'll notice I also have printed labels on my baskets and bins. That's because I live with people who are sighted. And so in order for them to understand my organizational system, I have to label them. Now, if you have low vision and you want to use printed labels as well, you, are, you have options and you're gonna want to consider contrast. You'll notice on my black basket, I have a white label to make it easier to see. And on this lighter container, I have a black chalkboard label that allows you to write in white. Pretty cool. So when you're labeling your bins or baskets, put those way tags to work and get creative. I have a little basket here that has seasoning packets in it. Now I can't read the seasoning packets. So on my way tag, I actually have the directions for each of the different packets that are in this basket. Let me show you how I customized this tag. First, I tagged the basket itself in the description on the way tag, and that's what the phone is going to speak when it touches the tag. Check it out. Read button, alert, ready to scan, ready to scan. Seasoning packets. Next, I was able to choose custom in the detail type and customize this label. So I created three different text labels with the instructions for three different seasoning packets. And check it out, I can move among the three different labels just by swiping to the right. McCormick Taco Mix, 
Stir in seasoning mix and three, four cup of water. And I don't need to stop and listen to each one as I search through them. I just need to stop on the one that I want. Water gradually into gravy mix with whisk and small saucepan. Stirring frequently. Cook on medium. This is a great example of how uh, you can put as little or as much information as you want on your way tag. Whatever you want. That's the beauty of way around. Get creative. Three. Use tactual markers like pipe cleaners or rubber bands to mark items that feel similar to each other. For example, I've got two jars of peanut butter. One's crunchy, one is creamy. I've got a rubber band on the creamy, which is my favorite, so I can find it quick and easy. Way tags themselves can actually serve as tactual markers because, for example, the way clips come in different shapes. You have rounded way clips and squared way clips. So if you've got three or more items that feel the same, you're going to want to mark them. The shape will allow you to find it quickly and then, of course, you just use your app to read the description and know you've definitely got the right thing. Now here, the way I've got these three cereals marked is I can tell that the rounded tags are my kids cereals that are nice and sugary but the one that's squared is the one that I prefer now if you look in real closely I actually have a bump dot as well on this squared tag because anything that I have in my pantry or my fridge that is gluten-free I've added a bump dot to the way tag to let me know you can do the same thing with low fat or low sodium items in your pantry. Four, be sure that your way tags are always facing outward because that'll make it quicker and easier for you to find things, especially when you're using your way link. Five, if you have special treats or snacks that you don't want to get mixed in with everybody else's in the pantry, designate a special bin and tag it and put it in a unique spot in your pantry so you know and everyone else knows that it is just yours. Six, keep a small container in your pantry to throw in your used way tags so that you'll have them when you need them after you replace the item. Seven, always put replacement items behind the older ones so that the older stuff will be used up first. And on your way tag, be sure to put the expiration dates if you can access them. If you cannot access them yourself, at least put the date that you purchase the item on your way tag so you can have a general idea of how old it is. Eight, clean your pantry every three or four months to get rid of old food and crumbs. If you put yourself on a schedule, for example, uh, take four holidays out of the year and clean it the weekend after each of those holidays, like President's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, and Veterans Day, well then you'll be able to keep your pantry clean, organized, and free of old food. Nine, Put your senses to work to identify food that is spoiled. Your senses of taste, touch, and smell can actually protect you. So if you have food in there that, um, that just doesn't seem right, you don't know how long it's been in there, go ahead and throw it out. It's just not worth it. If you would like to tag everything but you aren't sure which tags to use on what, here are a few ideas. Way clips. Way clips can be used on just about anything. You can use a rubber band or a pipe cleaner to, to fix them to either a box or a rounded surface. But if you're going to put them on a box, just remember you don't want them sticking out towards you. You want them sticking upward. So you may need to fold in the flap on the inner portion of the box and then put your clip up to the top. Now, if you want to band it around the box like these guys, you can either do a single band or a double. A double band just makes it a lot, um, it keeps it in place better, uh, especially if you're using a rounded object like a can, it, or if you're using something that's going to be handled a lot like a box of cereal. Now, if you have a sighted person that needs to be able to read what's under the way clip, then just use a single band on the bottom tab because then that'll allow you to flip it down and flip it back up when you need to. Oval hold buttons can be tied or banded to anything in your pantry, just like the clips. But unlike the clips, they're actually going to stick out. So reserve them for things that you want to be able to find quickly. Just a few little unique things in your pantry. For example, I have a band with an oval hole button here on my Worcestershire sauce. 
They are also great for items that are in bags that you can take a twisty tie and tie around, like this cinnamon bread. I know when I feel this oval hole button that it's my cinnamon bread and not the wheat bread. Waytag stickers come in different shapes, just like the clips. You have your rounded and your squared, but they're not meant to stick and unstick repeatedly like the clips. So you can reuse them by changing the, what's on them, but you're gonna wanna put them on things that are non-perishable, like putting them on your food containers or your canisters. Another idea is chip clips. So I can tell just by feeling the shape of the weight tag sticker which chip I want and then I'm going to use the app to read the description to make sure I've got the right bag. If you want to save some tagging time and you'd rather use a sticker than a tag on your boxed goods, you can do that as long as there's an inner lining. For example, cake mixes, muffin mixes, cereals, or pancake mix like this, comes in a bag. So once you use it up, toss the bag, and when you replace it, put the new bag in the box. With the sticker, you can keep the box, especially if you have a lot of great information on there, like the directions for how to prepare it. Magnets are perfect for tagging cans. You can either place it on the top or the bottom of each can, or if you keep your can stacked, all you have to do is tag the top one and you'll know what the rest are. The key to success with all of this is you. Make it your own from the start and know how to maintain it yourself. So you determine where everything goes in that pantry. And if you have sighted assist to do it from roommates or from family members, that's great because that will help them to understand where everything goes and then they can help you to maintain it. When it comes to maintenance, the best thing you can do is put away your own groceries. And again, if you have sighted assist to help you identify things quickly, that's fantastic, but put them away yourself. If you don't have sighted assist, there are resources to help you like the IRA app or the Alexa show or the Seeing AI app. Check out my previous video on how to organize your refrigerator and your freezer so you can use complementary methods in both spaces. So let's do a quick review. Way tags can be used in three different ways. To locate items tactually, to identify items through the description on the tag, and then to store information about that item, such as nutritional information, cooking instructions, or ingredients. For example, I'm gonna take out that box of Hungry Jack pancake mix again. I know that this is my pancake mix because I, I can feel the round weight tag sticker on it. And then when I go to read it, read. just to be absolutely read. sure. Read. Ready to scan. Wait, hungry jack pancake mix. Now I know for sure that's what it is. But if I want more information like the directions, best before May 18th, 2022. Directions for 12 to 16 pancakes. Use two cups of pancake mix, two, one, one, two cups of water. It, ha end. it has everything I need to know. Check out my earlier video on copying and pasting information onto your way tag. I show you how to go on the internet and capture information that you can copy and paste right onto your tag. I also give you information on how to use the edit feature on your way tags to make it quick and easy to copy the same information onto multiple tags. Take advantage of the different shapes of the way tags to find items quickly. Then use the app to read the description to confirm you've got the right thing. And don't forget, you can always add bump dots to your way tags to give a little quick, extra quick information like dietary information, gluten-free, low sodium, low fat, etc. Don't forget the way link is perfect for digging through multiple items in your pantry. Way tags are reusable. Either you can reuse the container or you can rewrite the information that's on any tag. And finally, don't forget to have a designated spot for your used way tags because it's an important part for having a complete plan for tagging, consuming, buying, and re-tagging all of your groceries. So now you know your way around to create a fully accessible pantry. All you need is to combine tactual strategies, organizational techniques, and your favorite way tags, and you'll be able to access anything you need to find what you want. 
Remember, you can customize your way tags with as much or as little information as you want. That's the beauty of Way Around. To place an order for way tags, go to wayaround.com and subscribe to the Way Around channel on YouTube for endless ideas on how to tag everything in your world. I also hope you subscribe to my Insight for Blind channel on YouTube, where I give you the tips, tools, and techniques for living your best life with low vision or no vision. I'm here to help you learn your way around with vision loss. So no worries, you got this. See you next time.